Hey, creative friends. Hope you guys are having a beautiful day today. I am just so excited to tell you about my newest maker gadget. Um, uh, this is a CO2 laser, and I have been wanting one of these for years, ever since the first uh, um, examples came onto Kickstarter, and then that got me uh, researching these for, for a long time, all the different styles. And so this um, is my introduction into CO2 lasers and I went with the make block uh, from Xtool and I will have other videos of this to kind of give you my first impressions of it and um, kind of the reasons why I went with this particular device um, I've just had this for a few weeks so I'm, I'm getting to know it um, but I just wanted to share with you I'm, I uh, did purchase this directly from Xtool and I'm um, in fact I'm doing the payment option plan through a firm and it is just a, a great, great device. I've been having lots of fun with it and getting lots of uh, scrap pieces already and learning about the software. And I'm about ready to do a cut onto some cereal box cardboard just for, just for testing. Um, and it, uh, it has the cereal box in there and I've played around with settings to figure out the best power and speed. Um, and I will tell you, uh, I am currently have this set up using an inline fan. So as recommended by many different people, I am using this six inch inline fan and I currently have this just vented out the window, just using some cardboard to, to create a vent there. And so I'm going straight from their venting system uh, into this inline fan and out the window and so let me go ahead and get this started and these fans have six speeds to them um, and so I have just been using it up here on this um, sixth sixth setting and this fan does get a little loud but but not too terrible um, the make block was already on and then once I send the print, it will get a little louder. But you can hear hear that noise right now. It's just from the fan. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and come back over here. And let's see. So I have already gotten my print, and I've lined it up on my piece of cardboard. I'm going to go ahead and send send the SVG file. Uh, let's see. And it tells me how long it's going to take. It says it sent it to the machine. This big button is now blinking. And it does get a little bit louder as the system prepares itself. And then it will start cutting. And this one is going to take about three minutes. Three, three and a half. But I just wanted to introduce this gadget. The rest of this video will be my setup video. And then I will come back and just kind of give you some tips and tricks as I learn about this machine. I also would like to share maybe some of the pros and cons of this machine once I get to know it a little bit better. Um, but I just look forward to getting to prototype and make my own designs. And I just appreciate you guys uh, watching and learning with me. And if, uh, if you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe. So let me just leave you with the rest of this cut. This file actually came from Cricut Access. It's a layered uh, mandala type file. I'll show you a finished version of it. And then um, I'll pop the lid here and show you when this is done. And then again, the rest of this video will be my setup. So here's an example of this finished file all painted and again this was from Cricut Access, this SVG, so I just think that's so beautiful and I just picked some random colors but they it came out pretty nicely. And this was just with uh, my favorite material, cereal box cardboard, uh, it's so fun and cheap and easy to use.
right, and I'm just going to lift the lid and let you see. Still a little bit of smoke. I probably should have let that dissipate just a little bit better before I opened it, but just a little bit of smoke. And then uh, these pieces look like they came out beautifully. And so this particular design, again, it's just one of these layered mandalas. And um, you can use the scrap pieces and then you can layer this um, any way you want, really. Um, I can't remember exactly how it goes together, but just to show you. And then once you um, get all these pieces layered, again, you um, this particular design, you get it centered on the circles. And I cut this one a little bit smaller than this one, but you get all those circles lined up and you can paint each layer and then glue it together. All right, thank you. I hope you enjoy the example. Again, the rest of the video will be the uh, my very first setup day. Okay, well, here she is. We just got it shipped today and got it up on this table and it was packaged very well. I've taken off um, all the tape and the protectors that were on top here, all the pieces. And it had styrofoam inside to help protect it and keep this in place. And there was styrofoam to protect the camera. And then these are the items that came in the box. So vent hose, quick little manual, vent hose clip, USB cord, power cord, and some samples. And then all of that was packaged very well in this big crate, which does need two people to move it around. Um, it, uh, you can take the lid off of the crate very easily with a, something to pry, pry these clips up. And then foam was all around it. And then these are the pieces that were inside. So packaged very well. So far it looks like it came okay in the shipping. So I'm going to uh, power this on and get it connected. There's software that I have downloaded onto my computer. And then I did not um, get this component. I'm going to use an inline fan instead, and I will show you that next. So here are the three extra components that I have uh, purchased. I have uh, links down below if you're interested. This is an AC Infinity inline fan, uh, six inch, and the parts parts that it came with. And then this is the second item, just an adaptable hose that will be able to saw at the appropriate point to connect one to to the other and then some more duct work that will go out the window and it's a hinge and so this will come off one side of the inline fan going out the window and then this component will connect to the other side and then to the small hose that came with the laser box. All right. So now I'm going to go through the setup process on my computer. So I have connected the power and flipped the switch 
Well, I connected the power, connected the USB to the computer, flipped the switch. Um, this is blinking. Lights inside have come on, and then the laser head moved over to the left. So now I'm going to go through this uh, setup routine, which I think will hopefully be very, very simple. So I'm going with the USB connection to begin with. I'll say next. Connected successfully. Wow, so that was it. And so now you have the ability to look through some of their initial samples and pick one. So let me um, finish with connecting the hose and venting outside and then I'm going to run my first cut. Okay, so I just put in a piece of the sample. I'm going to close the lid. I do not have the inline fan hooked up yet. I'm, I'm just taking their uh, vent hose and putting it out the window for now. I'm so anxious to get my first project. So I just picked this cute little um, phone stand from their options. And it looks like it has already detected the material and it has chosen the power and speed accordingly. And so I think now I'm ready to just hit cut because I'm, I'm okay with that placement. And I will hit this button. Oh, a minute and 42, not bad at all. So I'm going to hit send. And then this button has now started flashing. So here we go. Okay, yes, I'm definitely going to need that inline fan. In fact, I think that's why it's warning me. Something is wrong. Yes, so I'm just gonna pause it right there and finish setting up the inline fan. Okay, so I'm gonna try this again. I have moved the material a little bit so that now it's going to use that uh, this is where I, that's where I had to pause it before because it was getting too smoky and I have moved the material so hopefully it won't um, interfere with that previous burn and it has already detected the material likewise again all that is set but this time I have again this is a temporary setup for now but I'm venting out the window with this inline fan this inline fan is um, has six different speeds so I'm going to bump it up to the middle speed and so far it's very quiet the the noise in the room is actually from an, uh, another window we've got an air conditioning unit in the window so that's actually where the bulk of the noise is coming from so far um, but now I'm getting ready to hit the start on this so up in the top right I'm going to hit this blue triangle it detects it, minute 35, and I'm going to go ahead and send to the laser box. Alright, and now this button is blinking, and here we go, trial number two. Hmm. Still hitting that code. Okay, so I'm back and you noticed on my very first day of setting this up I was getting an error 
and I just want to show you how I uh, fixed that error. Now I did find an answer on the Facebook group and then I also found some forums online that were very helpful and so between the two of those I was able to figure out uh, the issue very easily. I did send an email right away to the support group and they did get back to me within 24 hours but in between that time I had found the answer um, on Facebook and in the forums so I will link both of those below um, but just just so you know if you're just now setting up your machine and you are doing the inline fan instead of the purifier um, then you will have to come in here to this main menu to settings and then it was under let's see preference and under preference you tell it you don't want it to try to detect the purifier so you'll need to come in and remove the check mark from this area and then everything should uh, work smoothly if you were getting that exact same error message uh, with the error number like I showed um, then this this may help you um, but other than that uh, tech support um, again they did get back to me within the 24 hours um, so just uh, if you have any questions about this device, I will uh, do my best to answer. But again, I will definitely link the Facebook and the forum groups. And then um, just as I get to learn this machine, I will try to share as, as much as I can. Um, but thanks so much for watching, and I hope you will like and subscribe and join our community. We, we have a great group of people that just love making things with all kinds of devices. So we've uh, several people that use diode lasers. And then now um, I am going to be testing out this CO2 laser. So thanks for joining. We'll talk to you soon.